So here we are then, folks. Today, the Bundesliga title can be won. With five games to go, it is all in our hands. Welcome to episode 16 of our Borussia Dortmund Career Mode series. So yes, as I've spoken about today, the league title can be won. We have, um, I guess, a couple of games in store for you. We've got this game against Freiburg, which is the one that we are going to show. We've also got a game against Cologne, um, which we are going to sim. We're currently 10 points clear of Bayern Munich, who are in second place. And with five games to go, that means two wins will seal it for us, regardless of what happens. Before we get into that though, I do want to say just thank you to everyone who has been watching so far. For any of you who are new to the series, make sure to go and check out all of the other episodes. You can see the many highs and some of the lows as well as we get onto this journey. We are of course in the second season now um, and the, the rebuilding job I guess or retooling, you know it's tough to call it a rebuild, more of a retool because that's really what it was when Marco also came into the club, um, you know. It was a case of just trying to tweak the team to his tactics. A couple of additions here and there. Developing players who are already here as well, which we have done quite well. Um, and that was really it. So, you know, we expected a period of transition. I will say that we are actually a season ahead of schedule. You know, I didn't think this season this would be so clear cut. You know, we're still unbeaten as well. The only team unbeaten. Can we become the first team in Bundesliga history to go the season unbeaten? That would be an incredible achievement. Uh, but to be this far clear in the Bundesliga race has been uh, nothing short of spectacular. Before we do get on with the game today though, I really want to ask something to you guys to put in the comments section. Recently on the Barcelona career mode, I asked people about their career mode saves um, and to get me in the comments section just talking about them. And it went down really well. A lot of people interacted with it. So I'm starting to think maybe we make that a bit of a theme of episodes and stuff. You guys trying to get you guys just interacting with the videos and the series more. So today, I want you guys in the comment section just to tell me your favorite teams. Who is your favorite teams? Or if you don't have one in particular, who you follow, what leagues you follow, um, and also maybe your nations as well. So the nations you follow in general. Um, that would be really appreciated. I'm really interested. I um, just want to get to learn about you guys more, really, my viewers and stuff. So um, yeah, get me in the comment section with your favorite teams. Um, and that would be great. Right then, on to today's game. First things first, as I've already mentioned, we will sim this game against Cologne. They are currently bottom of the table, and we've also got a lot of rotation, because as you can see, a lot of tired players. So we've had to make just an absolute boatload of changes to the team, as you can see here. In terms of the matchup itself, Obviously, you know, they're having a really tough season, surprisingly so. So we've really got a chance to to put on the put on the pressure here and, and pile on the misery a little bit. This should be relatively comfortable. We've gone back to the 3-4-1-2. Bergman getting a, a chance on top as well, whose chances, I admit, have been limited this season. And uh, I do apologise for that. We should have got him in a little bit more. It's really been a case of the three forwards have just been on absolute brilliant goal-scoring form. Turam. Adeyemi, Marlon, we've not really been able to fit him in um, and it's been a real shame for him because he did have uh, a really good start to his career last season so hopefully we can get him some more game time from this point onwards. So in terms of this game we're just going to go ahead and quickly sim it. Now let's have a look at what the result is. It is a 3-1 win. Daniel Marlin getting a hat-trick so that's absolutely massive for us in terms of the ratings. Um, attacking wise very very good looks a little bit dodgy defensively having said that um, you know they probably didn't have a whole lot to do as the free shots would suggest so um, you know that's fair enough but great to see Daniel Marlon continuing his scoring streak I have a feeling he might be chasing top scorer uh, in the league so we'll keep an eye on how that one goes let's have a look now at how the league table looks on top of that so Bayern Munich did win in the end against Freiburg who of course we've got next 2-1 that means the table looks like this, and it does mean this next game is it. This is the title decider. If we win, that's it. We are Bundesliga champions for the first time in many years. 
11 to be exact. It was the 2011-2012 season that Dortmund did win the Bundesliga last. We are, of course, in this career mode now in the 22-23 season, with it being the second season. So that is a barren spell in the Bundesliga and an incredible way to topple um, you know, that run. It's also worth bearing in mind for any of you who may have forgotten, Wolfsburg did actually beat Bayern Munich to the championship last season. Um, and so it'll be two years that Bayern haven't won the league, which obviously, in modern terms is quite quite drastic, quite dramatic turnaround. We're now on the day of the game, but I thought I should let you guys know we're playing on a Sunday. Everyone else has played on the Saturday and Bayern Munich drew against Hertha Berlin, which means nine points clear with four games to go. If we just draw this game, that will be enough to win the title. So this is it, you know, we cannot bottle this now. We have to step up, we've got to be ready. It is all on this. What about the lineup then? Well, as you'd imagine, very strong, pretty much what you'd expect. The 3 4 1 2 we've gone with, and basically the similar lineup to what you've seen throughout the majority of the season. This is the team that has been the most trustworthy, um, my go to. I'd say this is almost my strongest team, other than maybe obviously Turam and Giovanni Reina in there as well. Commiserations to those two who are, of course, injured and deserve to be here. Uh, we've also on the bench, if I have a quick look here, got likes of Royce Hazard ranks in on there as well. Um, you know, am I going to be sympathetic to Royce and, and let him come on at some point? I don't know, maybe it's not the time for sentiment. You know, we, we have to try and get the result we need in this game. He's been very poor this season, it has to be said. People have asked me in the comment section, you know, why aren't you playing anymore? But ultimately, he's just not playing well enough. And so I can't have passengers in the team. Having a look at them, surprising that they're solo there. And just having a look at some of their players, you know, that they've got a decent side, particularly the front two. You know, you've got Simeone and Dominico Verdi up front. That's a really good side. So surprising to see they're only in 14th place. I think they're going to be a tough side today, particularly with this 4 4 2. Might prove to be an issue down the wings. So we'll wait and see. On that note, it's time to get underway in this title decider. And with that, Freiburg are going to get us underway. Let's see how this one goes. Through to the Kettle air. He'll come out wide to Gossens. He's going to look to try and cross the ball in. Adeyemi's got ahead of his man. Good save early on. And a great way to test the keeper in these opening stages. Forces a corner. Back inside to Bellingham. Space opens up for him. He's going to have a crack from there. Another good save from the keeper. And we've started off lively in this contest. That's another corner. Got another ball out wide. It's Aaron's in this case. Aaron's has got some space to drive into now. He's going to take it past the left back here. And this is an opportunity. He'll dink it in. Striker at the far post. Keeper saves. Tipped. And defender clears. Another great opportunity. And a lively start to this game. Chance for them to whip it in here. But they'll go back in the end. You know, they've got targets in the box. Maybe you just try and get it in there. Got a player free on the edge of the area. No one's picking him up. Deflected and turned in. Oh, it's in the cruelest of circumstances. It takes a deflection off Belica Chap and just completely wrongs foot's cobble. You know, there's not a whole lot he can do about that. The disappointing thing on our perspective is just how much space he has in the middle. Look at this. Really poor. And that's the central midfielder's job. Very disappointing. But as for the finish itself, you know, there's not a whole lot of blame. Belica Chap just tries to get a foot to it to block it. There's not a whole lot he can do there. You can't really legislate for that, can you? Um, and it just sends Cobble the wrong way. And after being on top for so long in this game, having chances, all of a sudden, we're behind. And that puts a dent in our title aspirations. Oh, giving the ball away. Bilico Chap again. That's a bad, bad pass. Oh, and that's half-time already. Well, it's not going to the script, is it? It really isn't. You know, we've got an opportunity here to win the title and half-time, not good at all. You know, the goal itself, disappointing from our part. But also, you know, we've got to take these chances, haven't we? They've had one shot and taken it. So, in the second half, let's see. Oh, I sent him in here. He's got an opportunity. Thankfully, we managed to recover with that pace, but... Oh, it's going to be cheap. It's a save from Cobble. Got to get to the rebound. Oh, it's time for some changes. It really is. We've been very, very poor. Um, first things first, the hood will come off. We'll bring on Vranks here. 
you know, the two fullbacks from now, I'm going to keep them on. Unfortunately, we've, we've just not got a forward to bring on. Um, so there's not really a whole lot I can do because both of them not having a great game. You know, elsewhere, the Kettle will come off. Ugh. I mean, did we really bring on Marco Royce? Really? For such a poor season? Our sentiment's getting the better of me. It really is. We shouldn't be doing this. We really shouldn't be doing this. But, I, I mean, this is his chance now, isn't it? This is his opportunity. We'll bring him on. Let's see what he can do. Oh, Marlon, there's a chance on here. He can send it through to Adeyemi, who's got the pace. And this is the opportunity right here. Karim Adeyemi through one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is it with me and one-on-ones? I just can't score. I cannot score them. It's ridiculous. So many chances missed. Now, it's worth bearing in mind, I know that if you lace that, it's a lot easier to score. But I like to finesse, just for realism purposes. You know, because players don't lace it when they're through on goal. Very rarely. So, just try and make it look better. And it's just a terrible finish. I can't believe he's missed. Has he just cost us the title? Gossens. Looking to hit him on the break now. They're trying to get back. And we're throwing him forward here. And now is an opportunity. There's players running in the back post. Karim Madiyami's there. It's another wonderful save. How has he missed again? Oh, I can't believe it. Royce Adeyemi. Looking for Gossens. Adeyemi, can he pick it up there? Holds the striker off well. He's holding him off really well, in fact. Now is an opportunity. He's going to go for goal. It's another save. And that's a hat trick that Karim Adeyemi could have had. And he's missed them all. Out to Royce. Oh. Through ball. Marco Royce will go for goal. Another save. Keeper keeps it out. And he's rescued them in this game. Well won, Matt Tummels. Now is an opportunity. One more chance. Royce gets fouled. Gossens. Oh, referee blows a full time. They never do it when we're on the attack. I can't believe it. We bottled it. We bottled it. We had a fantastic opportunity. So many chances again. And, and just couldn't score. Simple as. Karim Adeyemi. Just an incredible amount of chances. And he, he should score. You know, ultimately. I just can't believe it. You know, what a shame. The goal... Disappointing to concede in that manner, obviously. Um, you know, our midfielders are very... <laughs> Look at the stats. Oh, my word. 60% possession, 11 shots to their one, which is the only one of the game. Expected goals, zero. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. Our XG, 5.3. And we've come away um, with nothing. I'm just shocking. Cannot believe it. I really can't. Now, obviously, we've still got three games to get one point but you know we've lost our unbeaten record somehow you know again in, in the worst of, of methods it really is so it's just disappointing frustrating to lose it in that way um, we just worked so hard four games to go we just needed to hold off for four games and we'd have gone and beaten so I uh, so disappointed really am um, you know and obviously we can still win the title next game with a draw um, but even then, it's just disappointing to have failed at that hurdle. Um, you know, when it finally mattered most, ultimately we've been found short, found lacking, found wanting. And um, again, it's a finishing, isn't it? It's just a finishing. Um, I'm wondering if I've changed the shot error in my sliders. I can't actually remember now. Yes, I have. So our shot error is up to 60. So maybe that's something I need to look into and lower a little bit. Um, so we'll work on that one. Having said that, no, shot error doesn't actually affect finesse shots. So actually, when we're getting in and the finesse shots are missing, it's just because the strikers ain't finishing. <laughs> Speaking of strikers, Marcus Turam is back from injury. A little bit late now, needed your last game, mate. Um, but hopefully he'll be back in time for the next game and we can finally get this title with over and done with. Join us for the next episode then, where it will be another title decider. This time, might make it an end of season special. We've got three games to go. The next one where we can win the title with a draw is against Dusseldorf. So 
we'll wait and see how that one plays out we want to see us lifting the title as well preferably if we can do that so that'll be nice if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more make sure to ring the bell so you get notifications every time i upload a video don't forget to drop a like as well i really appreciate that and check out the links in the description such as my patreon where you can get access to great perks and rewards such as my fifa 22 custom tactics package amongst many many other perks as well as that linked in the description to my twitter give me a follow on there as well as my second channel where we are doing football manager 2022 videos give that a subscribe as well there's also links to my affiliate links with uh, access to all of my gear my gaming pc parts all that good stuff great way to support the channel as i do get a little bit of a kickback and you don't have to pay any more on that note we're gonna finish it there thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you soon